Beat is brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare. If you're feeling blue today on You Are What You Eat, some good, simple ways to improve your mood naturally. Joining us with more is Mark Mincola, Ph.D., a natural health care practitioner from Cohasset, Massachusetts. Hi, Mark. Good morning, Leslie. Usually a chocolate cupcake with buttercream icing <laughs> does wonders for my mood. I'll bet it does just fine by you. But why do I think that's not on your list? Well, you might kind of have a little bit of reference here based on usual reports that I give. <laughs> Sugar is bad. <laughs> Cupcakes are bad. All right, whatever. All right. A lot of people uh, suffer from depression, even if it's not a diagnosed right. major depression, right? You just have the blues. Well, according, yeah, absolutely right. According to a recent WebMD report, Leslie, they suggest that one of ten Americans definitely suffers from you know, some form of, uh, of what we might call mild depression, actually, from time to time. Uh, whereas there's one in 20 that suffers from severe depression. We're not really talking about that group. And what are the symptoms of mild depression? Yeah, most commonly, I mean, you'll find a lack of gen a general lack of interest, uh, changes in appetite, uh, more of a chronic form of fatigue. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we associate these with uh, a lot of dramatic life changes, stresses that happen in our lives. It's not uncommon, but there's some real good solutions. Work stress, Monday morning blues. You got it. Can't pay the bills stress, <laughs> the usual. So what are your natural suggestions? Well, when all this piling on takes place in one's life, there's some simple solutions, over-the-counter solutions. One of the things we suggest is something called 5-HTP, Leslie. And 5-HTP is hydroxytryptophan. Folks know about tryptophan helping them sleep. This is a form of tryptophan called 5-HTP, 50 milligrams a day. St. John's wort, we've certainly read a lot about that. Both of these will increase serotonin, the, the feel-good hormone in the brain. SAM-E, which is, of course, a, a natural supplement that you can find more in the uh, health food stores and whatnot nowadays, 500 milligrams a day. Holy basil, which, again, a lot of research as this particular herb uh, has been able to demonstrate the ability to lower stress hormones. Uh, in DHA, strangely enough, uh, decazohexanoic acid, which you might think of as fish oils. Uh, so simple fish oils have certainly, in a number of different epidemiological studies, uh, exemplified the, the tendency to lower the risk for depression as well. So fish oil's got all kinds of good things going they sure, for it, huh? They sure do, absolutely right. And what is holy basil? Is that... Holy basil is really a common herb that uh, is, is common to uh, a lot of health food stores these days. And we've talked about a tea called Tulsi, T-U-L-S-I. A lot of folks are starting to get into the Tulsi teas. They're special display racks in a lot of the health food stores. And it's uh, currently a very popular herbal tea. Uh, but you can purchase it in capsule form as well. And again, as we said, a lot of the research indicates, uh, and there's been a good deal of research on it, that it lowers stress hormones. All right. We all want that. We're out of time. Mark Mincola, thanks so much. Thanks so much. And if you want to learn more about this, you can log on to Mark's website, maxhealing.com.